All right, what we have here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and the official case that Samsung makes for it. Before we begin, I wanna make clear that this is a $50 case if you pay retail price. So that is going to weigh in on the equation when I share my opinion. So here we go. It is a very thin case. It is paper thin for the front cover. And uh, honestly, the back shell, the back shell isn't very thick either. Now, it is lined with microfiber on the inside, and I do think that the green is a nice striking color to go with the white. However, I do wish Samsung offered some different colors. So let's go ahead and see how easy or how difficult it is to get the Note 8 into the official case. So there you go. It's in the official there case. There are some good things and some bad things about this case. All right. The good thing is because it is so thin, um, it almost feels like there's no case on it all at all. The only reason that you realize a case is on it is because you feel this spine when you hold it. So it is asymmetrically placed in your hand when you hold it. You got to get used to that. Okay. But other than that, this is as close to no case as you can feel. And this is pretty good if you're going to um, never drop it because it's a very flimsy case, let's be honest. So as long as you're never gonna drop it and you're just trying to protect your device from the, uh, the scuffs, then yeah, it, it should be okay. But there's a huge problem with this case and I will be returning it and I'm gonna show you why. So you close it and Samsung slash Android said, hey, let's hop on board the train where we offer magnets inside of our cases and they activate your device. So when I open this, there's the lock screen, right? I don't really have it locked for the purpose of this video, but there's the lock screen. So you close it, you open it, and the screen comes back on. Now, a lot of people think that's a great feature and if you go and try to purchase a case for your Note 8, you're gonna find that a huge majority of those cases have the magnets inside, but there is a problem. If you have an iPad, it also can be activated by magnets, but there is a huge difference. As soon as you go into settings on the iPad, there is an option right there in the general section of the settings on the first page that lets you disable the magnetic activation. The problem with this case and the problem that Android has in general is there is no option to disable that. So every time you close and open it, the little magnet thing goes on. Now, why is that a problem? Well, the first two nights that I had this case, my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 ran through the battery pretty quickly because this magnet is not very strong. As a matter of fact, this case was only used for about four days. And as you can see, it doesn't stay fully closed anymore. So no matter what I was doing, every time I closed the case, and why wouldn't I? I bought the case to protect the device. Every time that I closed the case, this cover was sliding around and it was turning the screen off and on, and it was chewing through battery. I found a new case since then, and I kid you not, I get an entire extra day out of my Note 8. So this battery thing is bad juju, and it really disappoints me because it was killing my battery to have this case, the front of it, slide around. This flap was sliding around over here, and there's no way to disable it. So in the future, if Android or if Samsung via their touch whiz because I did not mod or root this device. This is completely stock, if you will. Um, if they have an option in the future to disable the little magnetic situation, I would probably buy the case. And I know $50 is a lot of money. It really is. $50 is a lot of money for a very flimsy case. But again, it feels great in your hand. So this case purportedly, purportedly will stand up, but I, I don't know if it really will. It's supposed to be some weird 
bendy magnetic action, something like that. It, it's not super stable. I was not a fan that would fall over very easily. So this is gonna go back. I did find a different case, however, and if you hold on for half a second, I will show it to you. And this is the shell for the Incipio Watson. The case maker's name is Incipio. The case is called the Watson. This is the hard shell that it comes in. It's, and as you see, the, uh, the Note 8 slides into it very easily. And it's just a plastic shell. And if you want, you can stop there. There's a little bit of a lip. There's a little bit of a lip. Um, and it's just like having a plastic back on any other tablet. And it feels, it feels pretty good. You, ha you can have it in your hand and uh, it's not bulky whatsoever. But what I choose to do, what I choose to do, this is the rest of the case. Okay, it's kind of a folio type deal. It closes and most importantly, it has no magnet. So real quick, the, uh, the Incipio Watson, it's got the fake stitching. I'm not sure if you can uh, see that in the camera. There you go. It's got the fake stitching in it because this is vinyl or I don't know, PCV, pleather, I have no idea. So uh, what it does have, they show on their website uh, that you can have your boarding passes from the airplane go here, your ID and credit cards can go here. The idea is if you don't want to take your wallet, let's say you're traveling, put your ID in here, put your bank card in here, put your uh, boarding passes in here, and then boom, you walk around and you travel with just this. And honestly, you could almost do it if this device had better battery life, I'm not gonna lie. But we're not here to talk about the battery life of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. We are here to try out the case. So, you take this, you put it in, and it snaps in um, fairly easily. There you go. Fairly easily, it's in there now. And you have a folio with no magnets. Now, one of the downsides is because there's no magnet to hold it closed and because there's no strap to hold it closed, you can get this with a strap, by the way, from Incipio's website. I chose the model without a strap, but um, I don't know if you can tell, that's not completely closed. It doesn't bother me too much. I typically just put my device upside down and I assume that over time, this is just gonna work itself out. So I like this quite a bit. It's not as thin and wonderful in your hands as the official Samsung case, but so far, overall 100% of the mission this has been the best case for me because I don't have the problem with the magnets. It actually offers more protection than the Samsung. And then in case you're curious, it does pretty easily convert into a stand. Uh, it does not have a vertical stand, a, uh, a portrait stand, but it does do landscape pretty well. And it can be a little finicky, but you can change the viewing angles too. So. I like that about it, but also it feels pretty good in your hands. It opens up pretty well. I know this looks bulky back here, but it does not feel as bulky as it looks. And you can actually compress it a little more depending on how you hold it. And it's still asymmetrical. You're still, have, you're still having an asymmetrical position just like you were with the, uh, with the official Samsung case, but it works. Now, if you notice, there's also like a slight tilt to this when it's in this mode and you could uh, do the keyboard typing on the table if that's your thing. It's not my thing. I like to actually hold the device in my hand, use the included stylus, and if you're familiar with it, Android has a swipe keyboard and the swipe keyboard is what I like. It actually works really well with the stylus. Um, let's see what I can do here. Go in the awesome note. I'll let it cancel. That's my memo template. Go to write uh, with text because I like to type. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this because again we're having challenges with the camera. But you, I like to hold it in my hand just like this. Stylus over here and then swipe. So I like to S W Y P. E because this thing, believe it or not, does not have swipe in the uh, auto predict. But you can just 
very naturally and very easily slide the stylus to type. Um, this is Oh, I'm spelling natural wrong, but it knew. Thank you. This is natural, and it feels nice, because that doesn't sound creepy at all. So you can slide the stylus. You don't even have to lift it. You slide in between words. Well, actually, you do lift it. You slide, lift, slide, lift, but you can actually write pretty quickly, and this is how I use my note most of the time, but I really like this Incipio case. So it feels good in the hand. It offers a lot more protection than Samsung's official case. And you know what? It costs less money. You believe that? This is what I was talking about before. If you, if you want, because it does have a slight angle when it lays here, if you are the type of person to do lay on the table landscape typing, you can do that. But again, that's, that's not really my thing. But you know, that's the deal. We all use these devices differently. So for my uses, I really love this Incipio case. Again, it's the Watson by Incipio. It comes in black and it comes in white. You can get it with a strap. I got it without the strap. And it's only $40 uh, at some retailers. Now on their website, it's $50. But remember, that is the same price as what Samsung charges for the official case and remember that official case is very flimsy and that cheap weak magnetic uh, closure on the front is really going to chew through your battery it's not going to do you any favors at all so I am not going to stick with the official Samsung case and again maybe maybe if Samsung or maybe if Android would put out an update to let me disable the magnetic on-off situation, then maybe I would come back to this case, to that case. But right now, I'm really feeling, I'm really, I'm really feeling the Watson. I like the Watson a lot. So, and again, you can pick this up for forty dollars, but even if it's fifty, it's still a good price. You've got the plastic shell that sits inside the pleather folio or whatever it's made out of. And it really feels pretty good. The only thing is it's not magnetic, so you do have to lock your screen. But honestly, that, that's, that's not a big deal to me. Now look, this is a downside to the Watson. Again, if you want, you can get the strap. I don't have the strap, so there you go. Look at that. It's, it's, uh, it's popped open by quite a lot. Um, it looks like Pac-Man over here. Wah, wah, waka, waka, waka. So... That's, I mean, that could be a bit of a problem for some people, but like I said, I just turn it like this anyway. And uh, it works fine for me. Put the stylus back in. Bye. So again, just a quick comparison. You have the Samsung, you have the official Samsung case, which is paper thin, versus the Incipio Watson case. And I'm telling you, man, I think this white pleather is actually fairly classy. And I, I like some of the design cues that Incipio did. Um, what they did was they mimicked, if you, look at, if you look at the headphone port back here, you've got the silver and then you have a hump around the headphone port. So the shell has that hump and then this has that hump and it, it just has a nice effect. It accentuates in ways that you would not expect. And then, um, you guys know that's not metal, right? That's plastic made to look like metal. But I'm telling you, the whole thing overall looks pretty classy. So I like it. It feels really good in the hand. Remember, we're talking about the 8-inch form factor. I can completely palm this with no problem at all. I can flip it around in my hand. It's a, it's a, honestly, it's a wonderful tablet and a wonderful case. And the combination of them together makes me happy to use it. I'm not lying. So, and then we go back to the official case by Samsung, which is much, much thinner, much thinner in comparison. Of course, the, uh, the Incipio case is two, it's rather two cases at once versus just one. Um, but yeah, this is going to go back. The, uh, the magnetic latch is a problem. And really,